Surgery begins with infiltration of area one, the mid-sternal line, from the xiphoid process to the second rib. Moving on to area two of each breast, along the inframammary crease up to the nipple areolar complex. Then area three, four, and five, infiltrating to mesent laticane in the space created between the pectoralis muscles and the intercostals on each side. The initial incision is made in the inframammary crease. Sharp and blunt dissection allows for the undermining and lifting of the pectoralis muscle and creation of the submuscular implant pocket. The implant sizer is then inserted. The sizer is then inflated to the desired size. The same procedure is done on the opposite side. The patient is allowed to see the tentative size of augmentation from a seated position and then she decides her final size. The patient is placed back in the supine position and her sizers are removed. The implant pockets are then washed out with antibiotic solution. The incisions are prepped for closure in multiple layers using absorbable sutures. TSRX textured implants are then inserted using a funnel and the incisions closed. During her first surgery, the patient opted for a 285 gram textured implant, increasing her bra size from a 32A to a 32B. Surgery begins with infiltration of area 1, which is the mid-sternal line, followed by infiltration of areas 2 through 5 to include the previous scar. The scar itself is then removed. Sharp dissection continues to the implant pocket. Adhesions formed by the textured implants are blunt dissected and the implants are removed. An infiltration cannula is then used in the pocket and the incision is clamped. Tumescent laticane is then used to fill the pocket. The same steps are done on the opposite side. The implant is removed. Tumescent solution fills the second breast and the first breast is allowed to drain. An implant sizer is inserted and the pocket boundaries are determined. A larger sizer is exchanged based on the estimated pocket capacity and inflated. The pocket is then irrigated and the supporting sutures are then placed. Based on the capacity of the implant sizers, style 45 600cc implants are chosen and then inserted. The incisions are then closed using absorbable suture.
During her second surgery, the patient opted to change from a 285 gram textured implant to a 600 cc style 45, increasing her bra size from a 32B to a 32 triple D. For interoperative comparison, one breast is done at a time. Surgery begins with the infiltration of area one, the midsternal line. Infiltration continues from areas one through five. Area two is infiltrated up to the nipple areolar complex and the scar is removed. Sharp dissection continues to the implant pocket. The implant is then removed. An implant sizer is placed in the pocket and inflated to determine the pocket boundaries. A relaxation of the pocket beyond the anterior axillary line is found. The patient is seated and allowed to view her tentative breast size as compared to her current style 45 implant on the opposite side. And the recommended capsular porphy is explained. The patient is returned to supine. The pocket is prepped and irrigated, and a capsular porphy is performed by placing sutures within the lateral pocket border medial to the anterior axillary line. The implant sizer is replaced to determine the new lateral border of the pocket. The underlying layers of tissues are reinforced and the new implant is placed and the incision closed. The same procedure is repeated on the opposite side, beginning with infiltration of areas one through five. The scar is removed. Sharp dissection is performed to the implant pocket. The implant is then removed. The pocket is irrigated and incisional sutures are placed to assist in closing. The new implant is placed and the incision is closed. During her third breast augmentation surgery, the patient opted to go from a style 45 600 cc to a style SRX 700 cc, increasing her bra size from a 32 triple D to a 32 quadruple D. This concludes my presentation on TABS. I hope that you have found it to be informative. Thank you very much for watching.